Hi, okay, so for this one, it says, determine which of the following statements is false with respect to Reddington immunization. Well, the first thing that we wanna go over is what is Reddington immunization and what is full immunization, right? So Reddington immunization, well, for both, well, for red, Dington and full immunization, okay? So both of them have the first same rule that present value of assets will always have to equal present value of liabilities. Another thing is that for the second part, uh, dur duration also has to equal each other, right? Another part is that, well, now the third parts are different for both. So for Reddington, the convexity has of assets have to be greater than the convexity of a liability. And for uh, full, um, the liability always has to be sandwiched in between two assets. That's the third rule for full. Now, another thing here is that for Reddington, uh, it's usually known to deal with only small interest rates, small changes in interest rates, whereas full immunization is just any type of change in interest rate. And that would be easy to understand, easy to memorize, because full is like full, like everything. So it applies to every interest rate. And Reddington will just know that it's opposite from what full is working with. Now let's go over all of these to see which of these statements is false. Okay, well, how about so, hmm. Yeah, so Reddington, we already went over, yes, Reddington is designed to work only for small changes in the interest rate, so that's correct. Uh, Reddington requires infrequent bank balance to keep modified duration of assets equal to modified duration of liabilities. Um, let's look at that later. So this one is modified duration may change at different rates for each of the assets. Change at different rates for each of the assets and liabilities as time goes by. Well, this is this is all using common sense, right? Uh, obviously, duration changes whenever we when whenever time goes by in general. So this one is out. The yield curve is assumed to be flat and the yield curve shifts in parallel when the interest rate changes. Um, hmm. Well, obviously, whenever we think about the yield curve, it was always flat and Obviously, the yield curve will shift if the interest rate changes. So D and E are out. So I guess we're left with B. It requires infrequent amounts to keep modified duration of assets equal to the modified duration. Yes, B is wrong. Why? Because we, because the second rule says that we want to make sure that the durations of assets or liabilities are equal to each other, not modified duration, right? And that is why B is the answer.